So now we come to the fun bit, which is to make the montage and to use some of the photo editing tools. If you click, single click on one of the pictures, you'll see the picture tools um, pop up here. So if I unclick, it's not there. Click on it, it's there. Now, you can click on format and it will bring up all of the tools. Alternatively, if you double click on a picture, it will automatically bring them all up. Oops. Okay, so I'm going to actually click on this picture. I'm going to start over here with remove background. Now, if I click on remove background, it will uh, automatically select an area, but you can you can pull it around and make it, um, play around with it. Now, this won't work for every picture. Um, you can uh, do things manually. I'm just going to click keep or keep changes and there we go we have got rid of the grass and we just have the dog now you'll notice that the picture is still that size it haven't it hasn't cropped it now to crop crop is here and you get these black uh, borders black edges and you simply push in and then click off and that picture is now that size okay so what else have we got let's click on this picture corrections just because you've got a picture from the internet doesn't mean it's you know the best quality it could be and sometimes just giving it a little bit more contrast a little bit more brightness will make the picture a little bit better I'm actually going to copy this picture and paste it a second time so that we have it twice uh, so you can see some of the effects so double click to bring up our tools so there was our corrections now the next one you've got is color and you can combine uh, corrections plus color there we go so we've got these two so they're looking this one's looking much perhaps well, it's looking different I like it better you might not you can as you see as you go over each one you'll see the effect that you get so you can choose and you can uh, choose your own versions and have a, have a really good play around with that. Okay, let's take um, this one now. So I'm going to crop him just out because I've just got this white area. Now, if you have got a white area around a picture and you've got a background, so I've got a white slide at the moment, so it doesn't matter, but if you've got a white area you want to get rid of, if you click on the colour and you go down to set transparent, looks a little bit like a magic wand you click on that and then you click on the white area and you can see our little uh, our collies come through there so that has now removed the white area now it's not perfect that tool but it's it's it does pretty well okay let's control c and control v this one as well now something that's nice to do is to actually rotate so again you'll see what happens i just want to flip him so he's facing the other way Okay, so that's quite a nice little tool to do uh, that you can use there. The forwards and backwards, you can see at the moment we've got a layer, we've got one on top of the other, and this, the Labrador is on top of the collie. And if we send to back, then the collie comes forward. Okay, so send backwards, send to back, doesn't matter when you've only got two layers, but if you've got more than one, three layers, then you'll start to see the difference between sending back a layer and sending right to the very back. Okay, so let's move him up a little bit. So what else have we got? You've got some artistic effects. So you can have a look and see what they do. There's a sort of uh, a pencil um, effect there. You get some nice uh, effects. I think I might have to keep the pen. Where's the pencil? There we go. I quite like that one. So we've got that. Now, if you do do something to your picture and you just want to get rid of everything you've done, you can click reset picture and it will get rid of everything that you have done. Okay? So um, it's, you know, have a, have a good play around with it because you can certainly get rid of things um, afterwards. Now, these borders, these frames, these uh, effects here, it's quite a nice one with the reflection under his feet. And there's more under here. So you can uh, choose what you might like. And you can change the colours of the borders and etc. You can add your own um, effects to things. OK, 
okay so even though you've already got one effect that's already presets you can set other effects so this task is very much about you having a really good play and deciding you know, what you want to do with your pictures and um, then putting them together bring him forward bring to front so bringing them all having a good play and uh, creating a montage that is a little bit of fun and shows that you've learnt some picture 